Hello and welcome to Infinity. There's a bit of wisdom in sharpening that says it's better to sharpen just the blacks rather than sharpen all the colours together. Does it work? Let's have a look. Let's try it out. So let's take this here, hit Control J a couple of times to get some separate layers. We'll zoom in to the detail here and take a nice high contrast edge here and see what happens when we go to the live filters and unsharp mask. If we say we bring up the factor here a bit, then gradually bring up radius and eventually you start to get a white halo here. Then you bring down the factor till it's kind of, you know, OK. So how far can we go up? Really, it's down. It's round about three, three point one radius and factor one point six there. So let's do that with another one here, but now we're going to turn off this layer here. Let's call this one um, normal. And we'll turn that off so we can see the ones below. And this one we're going to make that black. And this one is going to be colour. Right, now this one, the way we make it black is there's several ways, but simpler ways go to curves, change here to CMYK. And we want to turn off the cyan, magenta and yellow. So we go to cyan, pull this down so it's all zero. Go to magenta, pull this down and go to yellow and pull this down. So now we've got all black and white. Then to go to the next one under here, I'll turn this down so we can see it. Put in the curves. Now we just need to pull down the black. So again, switch to CMYK, go to the black, and we turn this down. And now we've got just colour. It looks a bit odd, but that's how it is. To bring them back, then select the top one, go to the blend mode and go down to multiply. And that will recreate the picture. Now we can only we just apply the sharpening to that. So what in fact we can do is let's go to this unsharp mask up here, control C to get a copy of that, and then go to the next one and control V to paste it. So we've got exactly the same one. Put that in there. There we go. So that has sharpened this. And is it working OK? Um, let's see. Um, we can perhaps play with it. It just certainly seems to sharpen it. Let's compare the before and after. So that's the normal one. That's the other one. It looks pretty much the same. So let's start playing with it. What if we increase the radius? We get the side darkening, but look, we're not getting any light halo above there, even if we go up there. I'll play with the factor. That's not doing it. You're getting some more, more of the texture in here and so on with the dark side. So why is this happening? Well, one reason here is if I turn off the colour, this is dark here, but this is pretty much white up there, so you can't make the white any whiter. Um, so cause you're not getting that bleed across into it, which you're getting in the colour one because you've got colour in there. Um, so does it work elsewhere? Let's find another area we can go to. I know there's a bit down here where we've got a there we've got a going from one tone here to another. Let's go zoom into that and see if we can, if we play with the sharpening there, does it have an effect there that we're not seeing up above? And if I turn that up there, you're getting a little bit of lightning in here, but not much, not so as you've noticed. And certainly when you turn on the the colour side as well, you again, you're hardly noticing up there. And so you, you've got, in other words, a lot more leeway in what you do with this. Um, to sharpen it, yeah, I know it's a bit over sharpened there in terms of what you're seeing, but you've got more control without running into halo problems. So there's a good reason already of why you should sharpen the blacks and not the colours. There we go. One more thing you can do with sharpening. Hope this is helpful and thank you very much for watching.